And don't forget, in case this is a new episode, which it will most likely be, just because I'm, I'm getting a feel for my own pacing, my own editing pacing. There's more of this cave to explore. There's a left path and there's a right path way, way at the beginning that we I haven't explored yet. Get away from my body. I need these bright bloom seeds because I don't have enough, okay? I have 495, 96, 97, 98, and I need at least 500. What kind of self like self-respecting dungeon delver goes in any cave with anything less than like 700 bright bloom seeds? None, I say. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me! I don't know where I am, but I'm gonna try to dodge. Please show me your ball. Oh, that works. Gently. Please die, please die. Why am I using this weapon? Ugh. My own fault. I really haven't used the like-like stones for anything. In fact, I'm not even sure what they are. They're supposed to be used for. I mean, it mentions elixirs, but uh, what elixirs? I kind of want to start using elixirs more, and so if there, there, you have any advice for that, please let me know because. Oh, that was the path. Okay, so this is this is complete. Is this backwards? Um. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going up there. Okay. And I and we we got the bubble. Yeah, we got the bubble frog. We got everything. So now it looks like it might be mini game time. Ultra Ball Hall check in. I'm going to check in in style. What is this? Is this more golf? It looks like it's it's more golf, but we don't have stasis, so what are we using? Ain't making it easy here. Ah, hey there, kid. Making it here this late takes guts, gusto, and gumption. That must mean you got a hankering for Ultra Ball Hall. Am I right? What's with the blank stare? You never heard of the super popular, habit-forming Ultra Ball Hall? I guess that figures, since I'm the only one who's ever played it. Thought it up all my lonesome. Ooh. The rules are simple. Carry the ball as far as you can before time runs out. It's up to you to how you carry it. Put it on a card, lug it in your arms, whatever works. Careful though, lose that ball and you'll lose the game. But the farther you take it, the better your reward. So make sure you hustle. Mm. So how about it? You want to give the Ultra Ball Hall a shot? Yeah, let's give it a try. Ooh. It'll cost you 20 rupees. Ooh. Oh, I'll get the ball. So just give me a holler when you're ready. Oh, I already know what I'm going to do. I do believe it's tractor time. Where's my tractor? Tractor. Tractor. Oh, this is the perfect. This is the exact use for this. Oh, wait, I can just build it. Maybe? Oh, this is going to be easy! What could they possibly throw at me here? Other than this thing steering very strangely. I'm sorry, what? You... I thought it would have started as soon as I... Man. Carry that ball like it's never been carried before! Oh, just, just you watch. Just you watch. I mean... Oh snap, I'm timed. I'm timed. Get in, Lake! Go! I didn't expect that I was gonna be timed, but I guess that makes sense. Go! I only have 10 seconds. That's not that far. It's a race, and I brought a tractor to a race! Come on, go! I'm 150 feet! Go! <laughs> that. Okay. Alright. Time's up! You took that ball a grand total of 120, uh, 72 meters away. There you go, that's pretty good, kid. Bet you could do even better next time, too. We got our money back. Okay. Bring it on. I have, I have some ideas. Ready, set, 
Let's try it vanilla. Same tractor, same deal. Lightened up since I know there won't be enemies. Get in, Link. You stupid. I hate Link so much. No, I can do this. I can do this. I can take this giant oversized golf ball uh, a, a little bit further, maybe. I mean, I started further this time and I got on a little bit quicker. Yeah, we're already almost to our record. It's... I might hit 200. Come on. Okay, okay. We updated our record. 94. That's a little bit better, but not really. That's a new record. Here's your money back. Okay. 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 Let's let's do this. I'm ready. Oh. Go. Oh boy. This is really fast. The meat's flying off. The frozen meat, but it I took it kind of far in like two seconds. Go, more meat. Oh, we're grounded. That's it. <laughs> that was crazy. The meat. Oh, man. That's a design. That is a design and a half. I probably could have carried it a little bit further, but I wanted to, it to rest on the my own merits of the ultimate meat toboggan. That's a new record. Here you go. Your money back. Okay, so that's not good enough either. You took that ball really far away. Amazing. You got that ball far. I knew you were a special kid. That was a ball haul for the ages. Now here, this one's for you. 50 bucks. Oh. Okay. I yeah. I'll here, here, let me let me brainstorm. Because while the ice... This is a really good design. But the problem is that the meat... Leaves. The ice meat doesn't stick around. I don't really have a way to fix that. Except maybe redundancy. Three. Oh. Three. Two. One. Go! I got my stabilizer. Some of the meat fell. Some of it fell, but I'm good. I am flying. Oh, this is a record and a half. I'm going to make those towers. Redundant meat, baby. The power of the meat toboggan. Come on. Not just any orphan meat was used to make this. Next up is my meat dragon. Come on. It doesn't handle the hill too well that steers really like a wet bar of soap, which makes sense. It kind of is. Okay, wait. Carry it, carry it, carry it. I'm just going to keep walking. I'm just going to keep walking. I'm not going to try and mount it again because I can get to 600 without it. 600 is more than enough. Yes! <laughs> 620.2. Time's up. You took that ball a grand total of... I couldn't even see you. Well, not that that's a score. You're looking to like to go pro with this kid. That was a ball hole for the ages. Now here, this one's for you. Want to give it another go? No. I... I if It looks like 50 rupees is the max payout here. Ooh. That said... I, I'm reveling in the accomplishment of the meat toboggan. Oh, that was awesome. I probably could have gotten further by flying, but six 620.2 with a ground score? I mean, well, <laughs> let's be honest, a mostly ground score. I think that's impressive. I think I can walk away from that with pride. Let's finish this out with style. The full power of the meat toboggan. Oh, it's hard to steer. It's really hard to steer. Don't crash. I kind of... Kind of crashed. And it looks like there's a Korok seat that's going to cut my trip a little bit short. I think. Wait, was there a Korok seat? Stone Talus time. Yep, I spot him a mile away. That was 
perfect. Can I one cycle this guy? I've never killed a stone talus like this. Don't follow me, bro. But man, that works well. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful heart. A diamond from that? It looks like this might be the end of the line for the gorge. It's a very drunk driving. I'm not actually drunk, but man. Does this vehicle make me feel like I am? Uh, I don't know if pulling forward or back on the stick does anything, but it looks like this vehicle has also outlived its usefulness. And now I need to fill up on meat. Uh, now that I've used all of my raw meat, not all of it, but a lot of it, I, I am in desperate need of normal raw meat for shields. And foxes are seem to be the ultimate source of it. We're nearing the edge... The far edge of the, uh, of the gorge. I already knew, yeah, I already got that shrine, so that's not terribly impressive. It looks like that might be it. Yeah. Cool. There was a lot more than I thought there'd be. Now. Let's travel to the Tabatha Bridge Stable. And go wrangle some goats. Supposedly, now it's been a long time since I checked the comments on this, but I need to follow the pine cones or I need to place pine cones. There's a pine cone. Okay, but that's that's it. Oh wait, no, there's another pine cone. And another one. How did I miss this? Okay, okay, okay. So we're on I suppose I should actually grab these. It's an infinite it's it's a Great resource of pine cones. Okay, so I'm, I'm on the trail. That was easy. That was easy. How did I not see those? I mean, to be fair, I did search everywhere and I didn't find any of the goats. So I'm really curious where they actually, where they are. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, now, now they're in the long grass. Uh, can I use? Yeah, I can use Ultra Hand to help me find them. Thank you, Tulin. I appreciate you. I mean, to be fair. As I was talking about earlier with the draw distance, it is very difficult to find things in this game. Oh, wait, hold on. There is also... Uh, you guys said that there was something in, on the Thunder Thundera Plateau. I'm going to have to check those comments as well. But goats first. More pine cones. Where am I going? Where are these goats? Thankfully, they, they space these pretty close together. It's not like... um. It's not like following tracks in Xenoblade. There they are, I think. Maybe. Goats! What? Whoa! Those are my white goats! So this is where they ran off to. That bottle's huge. They're there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are y'all okay? And you're the one who found them. Thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see. I need to check the recipe. Hmm. Yes, yes. Wait. Oh, no. Grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use the Hylian pine cone hole. I should have known something was off. It really did look hard to eat. My poor, poor sweet goats. They must have ran off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry. I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was all my fault all along. I would have run away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe that Princess Zelda shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. I don't know what his accent is turning to. But it's not all about what kind of food to feed them, right? It's important to show them you care for them with all your heart. 
I swear that from now on, I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing her recipe with me. <laughs> oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for f helping find my white goats and the recipe. We're going to head back to the stable. You take care. Hi. Hey, partner. Oh. I saw everything, partner. Ah. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I expect nothing less from you. Hmm. Do you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe are in the same place? I have another theory. Maybe Zelda took the goats and was planning on eating them. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, isn't it? I'm just asking questions here. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. You know, we've now chased five of the leads that might have had something to do with Princess Zelda. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the Lucky Clover Gazette. you really shown some promise. And it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. It's very pop popular with over 50 year olds. Which is why Tracy told me that we're both getting raises. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Ooh, big payout. All right, I'm going to hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. Balls. <laughs> he only said balls this time. And he promptly flew up into the bottom of the mushroom and died. Because really, that's kind of what he did. Okay, uh, but that's not all. I don't even know where this comment was. Like, I wasn't planning on chasing this lead. I just realized that I forgot the comment, and it said something about checking the tops of something over... Over this way? There is a mystery on the Thunder Plateau. Consider stepping on the top of things. Is my hint. That's my only hint. I assume it's just these. Uh, standing on all those statues didn't do anything for me, so I'm wondering if, if the comment means that I need to be standing on top of the mushrooms. So, I've made a plane, and I'm gonna at least scope out to see if there's something on top of them. It's actually surprisingly difficult to get on top of them. And once you do, they're they're so far apart that you can't really get on another one. Hopefully this gives me some that's a that's a bird's nest. And the Thunder Plateau is this area in the center. Nothing else is called the Thunder Plateau. All this area over here is not it. So it it's localized here. But what I'm... Maybe it's this. No? I'm really not seeing the solution. Maybe... Some of the top knots from these... From those pillars are missing. So that could be it. But for the life of me, I am not sure what this comment means. Unfortunately, I spotted this in between episodes, so it's not really a surprise, but... We have a friend waiting for us. Yeah, these bomb barrels definitely won't back a fire on me. I think... I think it's okay. My goal is to throw them at this guy. If I can get the... The drop on... Well, I'm not really gonna try and get the drop on him. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna rush him down. This is going to be an honorable fight, because at this point, I think I can take him. Fair and square. Hey, you! Yeah, I know you see me. Look at him. He's watching, he's, he's smelling me. He's licking the air. Yeah, here we go. Come on. Hit me with your best shot. Yeah. Oh, that just does it? Okay. What's my best? Uh, yeah. That should deal some serious damage. 
Not actually. This guy seems to have slightly higher defense. Okay, let's ready our shots here. I'd rather him not get an attack off. Back to the ground you go. Oh, he even came to me. Look at him. I can get the critical hits on his eyes. Half health him. Almost got it. Oh, boy. The hill helped me so much there. Where are you? Where do you think you're going? That's what I thought. I, he might not even enter the second phase. What's that? I'm taking Gloom Toll. That literally doesn't matter. Watch this. That dealt some serious damage. There he goes. That's actually fine, though. That should kill him. Unmissed. Okay. These won't. I don't know if that's going to disappear. It's not going to disappear. It's not going to disappear. Run, 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 run. Oof. I thought about shield bashing that, but, um... I thought that was a Lynel. Man, that's one thing I really wish they would throw at us more. Hit us with some multi-fights, like a, a, a red Lynel and a weak Gleok. That'd be sweet. Hit us with, like, the Pikmin 2 game design of, of constantly mixing and matching enemies. They do it for the Moblins. Why not for other enemies? Why not Wizrobes and, um... Wizrobes and these guys. Okay. Okay, I'd rather not die to you, sir. So if you'd kindly just die first. Okay. Uh, nah. I'll kill him with my sword. Oh, never mind. Riju wanted wanted it more. 